Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. Let me show you a little bit of mischief that uh, Simply Savannah made me get into just a couple weeks ago. This was basically for her channels and her Discord shell challenge, and a bunch of us were able to get in on it, and I ended up drawing that nerd's uh, enclosure here, and she had a lot of stipulations on it, and one of the main things was you could not change any of the terrain. You couldn't add like you couldn't add more water. Um, this little weird hump she put in right here that had to stay. Our little Minecraft block, all of that had to stay. And wherever your guest builder or wherever your slot um, ended up making the habitat barriers, you couldn't add. So, like she said in her memo, with her not actually putting a wall right here, no barrier, you had to come up with a way to keep the animals in without adding a barrier. So this is all uh, null right here. And I happened to get, like I said, uh, Simply Savannah's, and it was the Bacterian Camel. So really, really fun build though. I was kind of stumped a little bit at first, like, I was really, where she threw me for a loop was so much null barrier here. I mean, it was like, at first I was like, I just, how am I gonna make this believable, but keeping them from just kind of trotting out of here or trying to get over here? And you couldn't mess with the path either. So whatever path your, your shell builder put down, that is what you had to go with. And uh, so yeah, I happened to draw Savannah, so this is it and uh, real quick if you'll hang out one second let me show you what I turned it into <laughs> and here is what we've got so obviously I had to rely heavily on my rock working skills actually you know I, I was I think Savannah wanted me to actually film like the process of this but it was kind of long and drawn out and Savannah kind of um, confused me and I was kind of worried she was gonna get kind of passive-aggressive with me so I just didn't record any of it I just kind of really got into the flow of things and uh, I think this came out pretty stinking cool and like I said my biggest issue was making sure they couldn't cross over and kind of just get up and out they like hanging out on their they like hanging out in their little shade the little shade shed over here but uh yeah so I, they and also too remember she just gave me a little tiny bit of water so i put some uh like some filtration in there kind of made their little made their little beach kind of uh sandy and then all the way over here i had to make sure that we could stop them from getting out and I even put a little thing right here like if they uh if the keepers needed to come in and actually like get a little up close and personal to their heads or check their teeth, stuff like that. They could kind of walk them in here and stop them right here and kind of get right up at them, right up at eye level, check them out, do any kind of inspections or anything they need to do. They may come running now because he just dropped off their food. Let's see if they come over. Savannah also gave me a really kind of weird, interesting viewing platform, circular. So I brought in like the east, uh, like the um, the Indian fencing, and I thought that worked out really cool just to keep the people back just enough. And I actually turned the water wheel on its side, and I think it makes a cool like little fake bench right there, kind of sitting under this huge majestic tree. So I definitely had a lot of fun with this. Once I got rolling and kind of understood that I think this is gonna work out, like I think, I think, I think you guys will like this, then I was just kind of off to the races. But yeah, getting that first little part in, have some little custom uh, lighting here, and I found this barrel on the workshop. I think that was just Goron's barrel. Worked out really, really cool. But yeah, kind of like this little dry riverbed here, this little dry creek bed. I think worked out really, really cool, kind of keeping our guys back. See if I can get some of them over here to see if we see if I'm moving around. I can't believe they're not actually coming over to get some food. Normally they come trotting right over for us. See, I got our, I got our little box closed up there. You've got food, buddy. Nope. He's ready to go back. 
He's like, where's my family? But that just, this whole, this whole exhibit, I've never even designed for camels before, but I think this just come out super, super cool. I would use this in Suyana. Like we don't even have any camels in Suyana, but I would use this there. I think that would fit pretty good. So yeah, this is my little camel, my little bacterian camel exhibit shell courtesy of Simply Savannah. Really, really fun project. And probably by the time you're watching this, she will be doing the actual um, live stream, I believe. I want to believe that, the, that her live stream will be happening uh, probably a little bit after this goes live. So you'll definitely have to check that out because she's taken all of the exhibits and she's made one giant zoo out of it. So remember, there was like there was a pretty good bit of us. There was like seven or eight of us that ended up getting um, getting enclosures. So you'll definitely have to go on there and check that out and tell us what you think and um, just see if you uh, see if you agree that these uh, these exhibits came out as cool as we thought they did. So, anyways, guys, yeah, I'll go ahead and jump on out of here. This is my little showcase for Savannah Banana, and um, don't forget to smash the like button if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe for more Planet Zoo weirdness. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Thank you. See you guys.